So it's like this. The longer, <clears throat> the longer you wait right now in this space of incubation and just sitting and waiting on the thing, waiting on the right moment to do it, waiting on the right time to write your book, wait, waiting on the right time to cultivate your expertise and use online marketing, waiting on the right time to do whatever it is the Most High has called you to do or whatever it is you're meant to do in life in that waiting. If you wait for too long, nothing gets completed and you're in this space of stagnancy, right? And so the waiting time is over. Let me know if this resonates with you. Your waiting time is over. It's time for you to go forth and bear fruit and do the thing instead of staying in your head. Now, I know I'm a fellow introvert. If there are any introverts out there, I get it. We, we sit back, we stay in our head, and we think of 25 different scenarios that can happen. But the thing about that, and for me, it always comes back to the talent of the parables, if any of you guys know what that is, in the book of Matthew, the talent of the parables, where the king gives his servants these talents or these currencies, these things that they can multiply. Two of the servants went forth and they multiplied their talents and so they brought back stuff for the king. But one of the servants was lazy and the servant said, Master, I knew you were a hard man, so I couldn't go forth and bear fruit because I knew that if I did it, there might be something a little bit wrong. I might do this the wrong way. I might do that the wrong way, right? So he was overthinking. And do you know what the king said to him? But the Most High, the parable is a parallel between the King and the Most High. So the King represents the Most High. The Most High says to that servant, you're lazy, you're wicked, get out of my face because I don't know you. Like meditate on that for a minute. Are you being the person right now that is overthinking so much that you're stagnant and you're not bearing fruit? And when the Most High meets you on Judgment Day, he's going to say, Get out of my way because I don't know you, you wicked and slothful servant. Is he going to say that to you? I want you to think about that. I want you to meditate on that. And I want you to take action boldly in the most high for his kingdom. Shalom.